I am worried that the ITX PC category may become increasingly less exciting due to the fact that it has become a narrow niche among enthusiasts. With the ITX Ryzen 5 7600 XPC, I challenged myself to build a PC that is repeatable and easy to build, just like building an ATX PC. The main star of this PC build is the Thermaltake Tower 200, which is a great mini ITX case that comes at a decent price, unlike other ITX cases that tend to charge a hefty premium. Although it is a mini ITX case, the only real restriction is that it will only accept mini ITX motherboards. Other than that, it can house GPUs of all sizes, tall CPU heatsinks, and even a full-sized ATX PSU, so no need to worry about getting an SFX unit. For the motherboard, I went with the MSI MPG B650i Edge Wi-Fi, as it is a high-quality ITX board with an 8-phase VRM config that can even handle a stock Ryzen 9 7950X. It has a great rear I.O. that even includes both clear CMOS and BIOS flash buttons and plenty of fast USB 3.2 ports. Besides the MSI MPG B650i Edge Wi-Fi, I chose the rest of the components as if I was choosing to build an ATX Tower PC. I was most excited to go with the Corsair RM850E for the PSU since the case does not need SFX PSUs and 850 watts is plenty for anything. I would easily recommend this PSU even for an i9-14900K RTX 4090 PC without worries. Speaking of worries, I was initially worried about cooler support, as most ITX cases either only support AIOs or specific low-profile air coolers that are hard to get. Thankfully, I went with the Deepcool AK500 Zero Dark which has plenty of cooling capacity for the Ryzen 5 7600X and would be great even for much hotter chips. Other than the CPU cooler, I was concerned about fitting a powerful graphics card because of space limitations. Since there are no such limitations, I went with the XFX Speedster SWFT319 Radeon RX 6800, as it is an excellent 1440p GPU. For the RAM and SSD, I went with a Corsair Vengeance 32GB 6000 mega transfers per second CL30 kit and a 1TB Crucial P5 Plus. While I normally recommend going with about 64GB of RAM and 2-4TB of storage in an ITX PC, the Thermaltake Tower 200 is an easy case to work with. You can easily upgrade to more RAM and storage without worrying that you would have to dismantle the entire PC. In conclusion, not everyone wants a large ATX PC, but it seems that ITX is still out of reach for many due to high costs and very limited component options. I am glad that Thermaltake and other vendors are taking notice and are bringing out options that would help build ITX PCs with the same convenience as ATX PCs. This Ryzen 5 7600 XPC is a great starting point, especially for novices who want to build small form factor PCs without hassle. It is going to last a very long time, and as it uses ATX parts, except for the motherboard, it will be super easy to upgrade later, many years from now. At around $1,350, it won't break the bank, as most mini ITX PCs generally tend to cost about $1,500 or more.